Recall the generalized power rule. The generalized power rule said that if you wanted to differentiate a function of x raised to a power, you differentiate the power first, you differentiate that outside function first, leaving the inside function alone, you then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And we're going to need to use that for this problem here. Whenever you see a function involving a radical, you have to rewrite it using an exponent. So how are you going to rewrite that square root of 3 plus 7x? That's the same thing as 3 plus 7x to the 1 half power. And now we're ready to, uh, to apply that generalized power rule. Y prime is equal to... What do we do first? You bring down the exponent, one half. You leave the inside function as it is. To get the new exponent, you subtract one. One half minus one is a negative one half. You then multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. What's the derivative of the inside function? 7. And we have two monomial factors. 1 half times 7, that's just 7 halves, times 3 plus 7x to the negative 1 half. Suppose we wanted to write this without a negative exponent. We'd pick the 3 plus 7x uh, up. We'd move it down to the denominator to give us 2 times 3 plus 7x to the positive 1 half in the denominator. And let's suppose we wanted to convert that back to a radical and place that 3 plus 7x to the 1 half. We would have 7 over 2 square roots of 3 plus 7x. How would you have on your test for the three? The homework, either one of these three, here, here, or here, would be acceptable in the homework.